The new coalition defied expectations that the end of apartheid would cause civil war or genocide. After years of international isolation due to apartheid, Mandela said a respect for human rights would guide South African foreign policy. They did pass one of the most progressive constitutions in the world, whether it would be on women's reproductive rights, whether it was on you know, questions of capital punishment, South Africa does not have a death penalty, sexual orientation. It also came up with really progressive clauses on the responsibility of the state to its citizens. More than anything else, it set the country on the right path and essentially moved toward majority black operated government. In 1999, the retirement of then 80-year-old Mandela after one term in office saw the election of Thabo Mbeki as South Africa's second post-apartheid president. Nelson Mandela chose Thabo to be his vice president and then it was just one step away from be, being president. He spent years outside of South Africa, traveling throughout Asia, Europe, throughout the West, raising funds, resources for the ANC, and educating global leaders and grassroots leaders about the plight of black South Africans under apartheid. You saw additional investment, international investment, on the part of the United States, but also, since then, Germany, uh, Japan. Of course, China has a large presence in South Africa and elsewhere on the continent. 